Today I'm going to demonstrate how I tune my Chinese diesel heater. This particular one uh, says it's 8 kilowatt, but we all know that it isn't. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to tune it using nothing more than the remote control that uh, comes with it. And I'm going to be relying on the, um, the casing temperature to see how hot I can get the casing temperature and also um, a CO meter um, and what we're going to do is we're going to measure the parts per million at the end of the exhaust there and the objective is to obviously get the highest heat output at the lowest and highest settings so let's say uh, your lowest setting is at one hertz um, I want to be able to get the highest temperature with the lowest CO reading and the same goes for the highest output you know so if it's like five kilohertz or whatever sorry five hertz um, again I, I want the lowest CO reading on this meter and the highest temperature so I'm going to get it fired up now get it running and um, and we'll see um, what kind of settings we we have and the readings that we have um, using the uh, the remote control and also the the CO meter. Right, so the current setting at the moment on this um, is 1.2 hertz on the lower end, um, 5 hertz on the, on the top end, 1500 rpm on the low end, and 4500 rpm on the top end. Okay. Um, and as you can see, there's only one red bar illuminated. Okay, so, and the, the current temperature of the, um, of the casing is about 117 degrees. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is fiddle about with the, fl the fuel flow and also the um, the RPM. We're going to do the lower end first and the objective is to get that casing temperature as hot as we can with the lowest uh, CO reading on here. But first of all what I'm going to do is just try and try and get it as hot as I can then I'll take a CO reading and then we can then make our final adjustments from there right it's it's dark outside and so I've been fiddling about with this you know something no matter what I tried um, whether I uh, I mean I couldn't get the fan speed on this any lower than 1500s on the bottom end um, the, uh, the well the conclusion that I came to was it's it's running extremely lean okay um, and it seemed that uh, the only way to get any heat out of it, bottom end, was to turn up the uh, the fuel flow. Um, by doing that, that also uh, lowered the um, the amount of um, uh, parts per million. Um, but that was still like 600, 700, which is way too high. Um, this particular heater, it would appear that it's uh, it just. It's, it's running very lean. Uh, there's nothing I can do. The only thing that you, I, I can do about it is to actually restrict the, um, the input, the, um, the air in, input into the combustion chamber. Um, that's the only way that I've managed to, um, to get the, the CO meter to read, you know, a sensible, safe uh, reading. And um, at the moment, so I think the, the settings were uh, 1500 on the low end and uh, the lowest fuel rate that I could go was, uh, was um, 1.3 hertz, okay. But at 1.3 hertz, I'm still achieving um, a, um, a casing temperature of 109 degrees centigrade. Okay, so um, I've been working on the top, the top end uh, the higher settings and um, I've managed to tune 
uh, the fuel at 5.5 hertz and we have a, um, a fan speed of 3900 rpm okay and the case temperature is 197 that's probably going to hit 200 and right here we have parts per million of, of only 30 well under 14 okay so um i think what this experiment tells me is um sometimes you have to be a little bit creative uh, with the air fuel mixture and that would mean just restricting the amount of air into the combustion chamber if if the unit is running lean very lean okay too much air um, that was the only way that I could tune this this particular unit and now it's running sweet as a nut really hot uh, obviously it's flat out at the moment 5.5 hertz yeah and there we go 199 degrees centigrade so yeah i mean that's that's pretty much it i think mission accomplished so i'm just gonna i'm gonna um, bring it down to the lowest setting which is 1.3 is it three it is 1.3 uh, you know and if we can still achieve a low uh, ppm count on the, uh, on the meter and it's still kicking out uh, a reasonable amount of heat I would say that that was pretty much it that's mission accomplished going to take a little while for to cool down anyway they have it thanks very much for watching